House is embroiled in a speaker fight, but Oversight Committee Chair James Comer is pressing forward with his probe of Hunter Biden. On Monday, he requested special counsel Robert Hur to reveal if any classified documents that President Biden kept from his time as vice president mention any countries where his son Hunter conducted business. Mm. Well, Comer also wanted to know details of the two-day interview Biden voluntarily sat through last week, the request sent in a form of a letter. as part of an investigation inquiry against Joe Biden. White House spokesperson Ian Sams has insisted there's been no impropriety, saying in a statement, quote, we have provided relevant updates publicly, being as transparent as we can, consistent with protecting and preserving the integrity of the investigation. So just a reminder that this thing is going forward. The House Republican leadership uh, kerfuffle has not uh, prevented that. And, you know, people still have and should have, given, I think, you know, the revelations. I mean, people have questions, given the revelations about uh, Biden's interaction with Hunter Biden business associates being so far beyond what we were led to believe initially. Mm -hmm. Uh, Joe Biden has staked out the position that he knew nothing about the business dealings, that he was not involved with them. We now know that's not true. We know he participated in telephone calls where Hunter Biden's business associates were present. We know that Hunter Biden's entire um, involvement in the, in the, the Ukrainian energy company, the Chinese um, energy interests, was in order to, um, to work his dad. We don't know that this did, in fact, ever impact policy, but we know that that's why Hunter Biden was on the payroll. We know his salary shrank tremendously when Joe Biden stopped being the vice president, stopped being the relevant policymaker on Ukraine. Given all that, I think it's fair to, uh, to ask whether in any of these documents that were improperly stored by Joe Biden and by every other political figure under the sun. <laughs> there are references to uh, relevant information. Uh, yeah, it seems like secure storage at this point in government means like shoving papers into my pocket, <laughs> given the standards that we've seen across the board. Yeah, you know, my feeling about this story is what it has always been. I think it's perfectly fine to investigate, but there are diminishing returns, mm -hmm. and especially when there are so many other high-profile stories, not just the speakership race, but obviously everything that's going on in an international context. How much appetite is there for this, even among the most core part of the Republican base? How much news attention is a story like this going to grab, unless there really is a bombshell Uncovered, And is this oh. going to really be determinative? Certainly, I don't think it's going to have any effect on this Republican primary that's all but wrapped up. But in a general election context, is there a single person who's going to be swayed one way or the other on this on the basis of accusations about Joe Biden's son? Well, I mean, that remains to be seen. And uh, obviously, if you're looking for a totally squeaky clean political figure, um, you're going to be Good out of luck. luck in this race and probably every race that has ever taken place. You lost me. The... You lost the squeaky clean when you said political. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Although uh, uh, Donald Trump and Joe Biden seem to have uh, particularly involved or, or have had, had family members um, doing things that raise questions, um, maybe even more so than other political figures. Um, or they're just getting more scrutiny because we live in more partisan times. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. there are— well, Jimmy Carter's still kicking, so <laughs> we can try to get him back in there. Know, does he have—did they have kids? I don't, I don't know. The children? Uh, and yeah. The Carters? Yeah. Well, they have at least a daughter, right, who was in the White House? I, I believe you. I just don't know. Yeah. Amy, Amy, Amy Carter. Amy Carter. Okay. Yeah. My, uh, yeah, my presidential child knowledge, I don't think, starts until— Bill Clinton. No, I wasn't arguing for a dynasty, another political dynasty. It was, I mean, the literal Jimmy Carter. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're Fine. squeaky clean. Of course, nobody's really uh, squeaky clean, even I mean, Jimmy Carter as yeah. well. Yeah, but lit, your but. question will this affect the election? I mean, I, I definitely think it could. That's certainly the Republican, Republican gamble. Um, their base cares a lot about this, um, understandably. Will this, you know, persuade people that all weren't already voting for Trump to theoretically vote for Trump? I guess that's what remains to be seen. Obviously, if there's some, if there's genuine corruption, it, it should be pursued and investigated regardless of its electoral of impact. If, it's, um, if he committed a crime, he committed a crime. But the, it does feel like some of this is on a timeline, much the same way that uh, Democrats 
or de Democrats who support the various prosecutions of Donald Trump don't want there to be these timeline extensions because they want yeah. him to be found guilty to the extent that he is. They want the trial the to be the campaign, for right. sure. That's and, the and, entire strategy. And that is also, I think, what's going on here with Hunter Biden. I, I suspect that if Joe Biden wins and Donald Trump hangs up his uh, presidential ambitions, we will Why hear he very that? little. <laughs> Why would he do that? You're right, he's a well-preserved yeah, man. I, the expectation that the 2024 is going to be Donald Trump's <laughs> final run for the presidency is, uh, it, well, like, sure. can't you imagine Republicans who secretly don't want Trump, or Republican like leaders who are pro-Trump publicly, privately don't like Trump, don't care for him, don't want to be the person. But once again, the, it, we, we could be in 2044. I don't know if there'll be an election held that year. I was like, OK, we just got to stomach Trump one more time, and then, he, then he's going to be done. It's never happening. It's Trump <laughs> forever. Uh, Donald Trump's father lived to be a ripe old 93. Yeah. So he's got a lot of good years in him, uh, it seems. Yeah. I think he's very well preserved. I think literally preserved from eating exclusively uh, McDonald's that's embalmed his insides in a way that's going to make him live forever. And so, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. But I do think, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, that in a world where Donald Trump were no longer, a, a, yeah. a, you know, in the in the running for any real um, political position, I, can't even I just don't think that world, anybody sure. would care sure. about Hunter Biden or if Joe, if Joe Biden were no longer in the race. Yeah. Meanwhile, most American adults say President Biden's business dealings with his son, Hunter Biden, are either unethical or illegal, according to a new poll. Results from the Associated Press uh, Research Center survey published Saturday show 63 percent of U.S. adults believe Biden's handling of foreign business dealings with his son are unethical or illegal. 33% say unethical, 30% say illegal. <laughs> so that's a plurality of uh, people who have uh, deep reservations about who, what went on there. That, that is something it's I think that good. Democrats are missing about this. Sure, there's no smoking gun, but there's not a person alive who's ever lived in the world, who's been in a workplace, who's drawn a salary, who doesn't see this as corrupt, yeah. doesn't see this as unethical, doesn't understand what quid pro quo is about. Just because you can't prove a violation of a crime doesn't mean that this is kind of nasty behavior. And for regular people who don't have the same ability to capitalize on their parents' name, I mean, we had nepotism discourse earlier this year because everyone realized that the cool band they liked was actually um, fronted by someone who, as the kids say, whose parent has a Wikipedia page. <laughs> That's the standard for nepotism. Really? Does your, does your dad have a Wikipedia page? Oh, you're, you're a nepo baby. Mm. So, like, no one likes this. And even if there is no smoking gun, I do think it hurts Joe Biden to be pulled into the same, like, sphere, corrupt, you know, sphere that uh, Donald Trump has occupied in the eyes of many Democrats. Most Americans think what he did was, was wrong, it's corrupt. Yeah. Most Americans think he's too old to be president. Yeah. Most Americans would prefer someone else be the nominee. Most Democrats would prefer someone yeah. else be the nominee. And this is the person that's going to run against Donald Trump. Yeah, and Donald Trump's uh, favorabilities are not so sweet either. Nobody wants this matchup, but it's the matchup that we get and perhaps the matchup that America deserves. <laughs> we get what we deserve, more rising right after this.